As an American in the UK, I'm learning all sorts of new words. Today I discovered that cues can also be called waitros. Excuse me? <laughs> Shut the hell up. I hate you. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Now this is how you sell a laminator. <laughs> It works real well. It's really strong. London tube map as seen from above. Well, that's kind of neat, I guess. <laughs> oh man, I am the wrong person for this subreddit. Let me tell you what, the British people don't like me very much. <laughs> Gran never lets me have KFC. Oh, <laughs> not the person I expected to see peeking into a KFC as he walked by, but... You know? Also, can we talk for just a moment about his hair? He lost it a long time ago. Dude, shave the rest off. Or get implants. I don't know. You've got the money, so you can. It would be very easy for you to do. I just, there's not many people on Earth that pull off that look. And he's not one of them, in my opinion. So just... Cut it all off, you'll look a lot better completely bald! Prepping the golden balls of disappointment for Halloween. The what? oh you sick bastard. <laughs> Why would you do this? You're spending so much time! Stop it! No! Can't believe how much these two have grown since Harry Potter. <laughs> Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't have the brain to make connections like this. Also, kind of weird Tom Felton was actually at Denver Fan Expo back in, I think it was July, early July, something like that, and I heard that he's a bit of an asshole. Now, that probably isn't true, because a lot of stories like that turn out to be fake, but wouldn't it just make sense if the guy that played Malfoy was indeed just a jerk in real life? Where's the pride flag? Knows, just whack out the twister mat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, if it works, it works, man. Come on. Is this the look of every village hall in the UK? I mean, how would I know? I've only been to the UK once, and I was locked in an Airbnb for three weeks, okay? I didn't get to see the inside of anything but that Airbnb and maybe Poundland and a Starbucks, which that doesn't count for shit. Received from my landlady this morning. They aren't all bad. Hi, hun. Just watch the news saying landlords are putting up rent. I just wanted to put your mind at rest. I will not be doing that. Everyone is struggling at the moment, and it's morally wrong to put more stress on young families. At a landlady. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That is a serious diamond in the rough. I still don't like landlords and landladies, but at the very least, this one does seem like a person, unlike so many of them. Okay, American or United Statesian, <laughs> that's not a thing, versus, well, the other guys. Let's see. For the first time since but <coughs> last night, I sat in a movie theater. When the lights dimmed, some guy shouted, hell yeah, back at the movies, and everyone clapped and I cried on my damn mask. Watching movies at home suddenly felt like traveling by looking at Instagram. Went back to the cinema to see Cruella. There was an emotional current among the audience after the last year. At the end of the film, someone started a round of applause, and I'm pleased to say no one joined in, but someone shouted F off instead. <laughs> Come on, man. I've only ever clapped at one movie, and it was because... I actually don't remember the reason. I think I was being a smartass. Our lecturer is showing us a clip of himself on BBC News explaining the topic, and instead of just explaining the topic. I've never been flexed on so hard in my life. Oh, I see. That's cool, though. I mean, come on. Wouldn't you do it if you had the ability? I would! King Charles' coronation service will be four hours longer than his mother due to his limited mobility? What? Oh, is it because... Oh, uh, okay, you know what? Screw you, goddammit. I was actually curious for a minute. Nah, it's the chess thing. It's the chess thing again, everybody. We can all calm down. You know what wouldn't make you calm down? The new merch over at mkshop.com. Seriously, check those hoodies out, man. They rock. Make sure you use code Boobin at checkout to get yourself free shipping, though. You know you're in Salford when someone steals your f***ing garden path? Someone stole your paving. Literally stole my path. Who does that? Apparently, a genius? They'll never think to guard the path itself. Now do they? Or will they? We have just had our patio done, and my six-year-old has loved going out and helping the builder. So it made his day to receive this. Aw, oh, let's take a look here. For passing bricks, 
passing little pavers, pointing brickwork, mixing cement, loading stone to damn, did they just do it all themselves? And being a smashing little guy. Minus tax and national insurance. There's your pay packet. Well, that's adorable, isn't it? Stop complaining about your life. There are people literally living in Kent. I don't know anything about Kent. The only place I visited there was Cambridge. I mean, technically I was in London, but not really because the airport doesn't count. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the world's worst person. <laughs> Is this dude playing a homemade didgeridoo? Or is it homemade? No, uh, maybe. He's just playing a didgeridoo on the fucking tube or generic train. I don't think it matters. What a, come on, man. He just nicked that from the side of a house. The didgeridoo don't. See, I knew there was something weird about it. Christ on a bike. N literally just Christ. What the hell? Even he's fallen on hard times? Piers Morgan confirms he's not the pigeon lady in Home Alone 2. Well, yeah, if it was him, that would have ruined the entire movie for me, because screw this guy. A very British response. Cheers, John. If you ever need to wallpaper this room again, it will take eight rolls of wallpaper. I bought just six rolls. Okay. Uh, did, well, you know, it's at least helpful information. Back from, like, a year after I was born. Well, a little longer than that. I was looking at places in London and saw this. The front door is a window? Oh, you know, I did come across this on my own once, and yeah, that's just embarrassing. That's just stupid and weird. You gotta climb through a window to get into your apartment. And you know what? It's still 750. Like, no. No, dude, absolutely not. American sports fans, defense, defense. British sports fans. All right, lads, I've just worked up a song to the tune of, 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 of whose? De Bussies Claire Naloon about an opposing player's drunk driving. Oh my God. Okay. Efficient poster design. And you know what? There's a lot of words that I'm not even gonna bother reading because I know that I know that that's exactly what they want. They want me to incorrectly pronounce something because it's incredibly easy to do for most things over there. But anyway, a pub? Well, let's check it out. The Friars. Hi, Dave, it's Tom. Can you do a poster for our music nights? Yeah, man, some of the details. Okay, there are them deets. What time do they start? Half eight? Nine-ish? All done, dude. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. You can only get away with it one time, though, so make sure you use that one time not lightly, okay? David Attenborough at 96 voted as Britain's favorite TV presenter at 96. Oh boy, it's going to be a rough goddamn day when a, a person like that finally goes. Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, stop it. NHS proudly taking top answer here. Also, please give blood this Christmas. What's something you can say during sex, but also when you manage a brand Twitter account? It's just a little prick. Give blood, guys. I made a device that checks the council website and lights up to show you what color bin to put out. I call it the Bindicator. Okay, so you're just a genius? Is that what I'm getting here? You're just, you're just a clever son of a bitch. What's your idea of the perfect date? <laughs> Other format can be confusing, really. Yeah, I, I, I guess I underst I've always understood the logic behind it, but I didn't invent the f***ing date structure that we use over here where we swap it and put the goddamn months first. I didn't invent that. Not my fault. Not my problem. <laughs> uh, I'm not the king of the United States. So, suck it. I have a sick dog, so I ordered 70 pounds worth of groceries from Morrison's via Deliveroo. Morrison's accepted the order, but canceled almost every time. I paid five pound delivery and five pound tip, and I got an onion. Deliveroo refused to cancel. Behold, the world's most expensive onion. You just gonna let that slide? That's a ton of money, dude. I'd be a little bit more pissed than that. New girl at Greg's doesn't know the bacon to bap ratio yet? Duh! <laughs> oh, score. 50 pound note design released. Alan, D wait, what? Did you say Alan Turning? Huh? I, j I thought it was Turing. You know what? It doesn't matter. That looks rather nice. Oh, I see a little rainbow over there. You know, American money really needs a redesign, dude. We, we got to get rid of some of the people that we have on ours, right? I think that'd be a smart idea. Maybe change it to, I don't know, some astronauts or something. 
Harriet Tubman was a great choice, I thought, and that's just not happening anymore. Cool. I went to view a house yesterday and found this QR code on the back of a cupboard door. I got rickrolled during a house viewing. Well, you only have yourself to blame. I'm not a fan of scanning random QR codes because I'm afraid that I'm going to die for real. Can we talk about how the, is it little? I think it's, it's little, isn't it? Bakery section is way better than it has any right to be. Oh, <laughs> see, that looks delightful. I want all of it. I'm just so hungry right now, man. America, you drive for four hours. You're still in the same part of the country. UK, you drive for two hours, the local accent has changed twice, bread rolls have a new name. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a, sm a much smaller patch of land, okay? <laughs> I was genuinely surprised at how close I was to my city of destination when I did visit. Because while it was still like an hour and 20 minute drive, I, it wasn't the distance. It was just the complexity of getting there. I don't know. I'm just used to the big, stupid, ugly mega highways we have over here. I know that you guys do have big old highways over there, but not quite like the ones we do. May I bless your day with Baby Gromit? You can always bless our day with Baby Gromit. Everybody loves him. Even when he's not Baby Gromit, he's the best, okay? <laughs> the only reason that man hasn't f***ing died. Before the Olympics kick off, I hereby patent my idea for an extra lane in all athletics races, to be occupied by someone from a nearby pub who thinks they're it. Athletes are all so fast, you get no real sense of speed, but Derek from the Rose and Crown bringing up rear would provide a useful comparison. And on things like the pommel horse or the rings, it would be worth seeing normal folk just struggling to get on or stay up on that. That is true. I've always been a supporter of the idea of a regular untrained dude or gal out there really showing us just how impressive these athletes really are. I'm not walking in the mud so you don't have to let go of your fella's hand. He's not going to run into traffic, Sarah. He's 35. Couples, if the path is small, you can walk single file. I promise your partner will not leave you in the three seconds it takes to let someone else pass at a safe distance. <laughs> okay. A satellite image of Great Britain taken yesterday showing how much much of England, or how much, or how, wow, I'm sorry, I just, those words just stopped flowing in my head. Showing how, I'm sorry, I need to, hold on, I gotta reset, give me a second. Showing how dry much of England has become. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Mmm, very dry. Man, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't like that. That's uncomfortable and ridiculous and, oh boy. Brits talking about other Brits that live in an almost identical county that's a 28 minute drive away. Savages. Bailey even you, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, sure, American states are, say, different from one another, but not really. Sure, Washington is going to be vastly different than Alabama, but at the end of the day, like I said, not really, honestly. Sure, there are a bunch of differences, I get it, but at the end of the day, if I go from Colorado to Iowa or something like that, I'm not going to do something or say something that freaks people out and has them go, what the f***, you don't do that here. It, it, it just not the case. You got to go to real specific spots here for something like that to happen. But Ohio's a different case. Everybody hates Ohio. They're just so strange up there. Otherwise known as making dinner. Supermarket Savvy Dad saves 3,300 pounds on kebabs and Chinese food by making his own fakeaways from home. Wow. Just doing what a normal person would do in an attempt to save money and probably eat a little healthier, right, I imagine? Shout out to everyone who likes to seal a packet of biscuits by simply pushing the open end up against the wall. Sometimes I'll do that. Not really against a wall, though. You know, like, I'll do the, uh, what is it, with a bread packet, the twist and tuck. You know, just tuck it underneath the bread. See this person? He's turning right on a red light. That is America's only contribution to Western civilization. <laughs> Hey, remember, you can turn left on a red light so long as it's a one-way. Uh -huh, I bet you didn't know that. That's probably not a rule that's consistent across the whole country, and it's probably just from where I'm from, but okie dokie. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf. Now it's time for Ben Vogel inside Chernobyl. They knew what they were doing, okay? You spend hours every day in a tunnel breathing other people's skin. That's right. Take a big lungful of other people's skin flakes. Breathe it in, you subterranean dwelling monkey. This would never happen in Cornwall, and a pint doesn't cost you eight pounds, you gigantic London twat. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a £6.95, nearly full English at a small cafe in Wales. Oh, <laughs> I do miss that. 
<laughs> I, I do miss that. Look, I love American Diner Fair, okay? One of my favorite places to eat at, even though it's a national chain and it sucks, is IHOP. I love IHOP, you know? Uh, my family's very ingrained in it, but nothing beats... Nothing beats this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just the... It, it's the best breakfast ever. On a conference call, my 14-year-old daughter presented me with this note to avoid disturbing me. I'm going to the shops to buy my milk because I don't like the the oat one and other stuff, okay? But will they still accept the money with the queen's face on it? Yes or no? Just point to one. <laughs> Wait, would they- what? I assume you pointed to the word one on the piece of paper and then smiled. Ah, I see. That would be- damn it. See, I can't think like that. Noticed a lot of Americans on here recently, so I thought I'd drop this to spook them. All right, let's see if you get me. Oh, 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 oh. Honestly, traffic circles themselves aren't really a big deal. Where I live now, there's actually a few, you know? But they're small ones. They're small, like, double lane traffic circles. These ones do scare the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, these ones are just incredibly overwhelming. As someone that gets scared of turning left, I think I would probably die or cause a massive accident trying to go through one of these bad boys. After 18 years of faithful service, this morning she spun her last spin. Rip. 1994 to 2022. Honest to God, that's amazing though. You sure she's irreparable? Nothing can be done to fix it? Randomly on this subject, my Egyptian wife had never heard of Stonehenge when I mentioned it recently. So I showed her photos of it, assuming she'd recognize the look but not the name. And she was just like, this is pathetic. Your ancestors were small and weak. Yeah, yeah, okay. Only in the UK would it be understood by everyone this is a message of affection. Goodbye, Dan. It's about time you f***ed off. You were shit. I don't think that would only be in the- you know what? You're right. You're right. I would- I would have to assume, because uh, let's take an American office or workspace or something like that, for instance. Even if you were there for years, uh, HR stuff is so strict on certain things that, yeah, if someone put up a sign like this, they'd probably be fired and beaten up by the end of the day. Hot Fuzz 2, now filming in Blackfriars. Hot Fuzz 2? What? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up like that, man. Look, I know that they would have absolutely nothing they could do, but Hot Fuzz is the best of that trilogy, okay? Easily, hands down, it's the best one. French is such a beautiful language. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try reading it. These toilets are not to be used for- For what? Le bon sex. Okay. Okay. What? Bartending at Lon- Longitude? And a kid swaggers up with a very impressive ID that shows his age at being squarely 17. I point it out and he says, you're the first bartender I've met that can do math. Ten minutes later, he walks by with a pint and gives me a thumbs up. <laughs> Damn, is it really that easy over there? Because over here, people are getting beaten to death for fake... Uh, you know what? I don't know. Just watch Super Bad, man. Just watch Super Bad. That's totally what happens every time. Can I get pulled over if my rear number plates are unreadable because of a bit of mud? Hi, Steven. Yes, you can be pulled over as front and rear number plates must be securely affixed and readable at all times. Oh, dear. That's what I thought. Tesco's. Oh, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't have to follow the rules, you know. This guy is an absolute ball. <laughs> hey, look, man, if it works, it works. Wait, is it working, though? The fan's not even on. Okay, never mind. A former colleague of mine has been inviting who to random things over the years. I'm not sure who that is. Are you coming to Bongo's Bingo in Liverpool tonight? Be a decent little night. Hey, fancy a job on containers tomorrow? One day I'm just going to show up to one of these things you're always inviting me to. I don't know who this is. This toast took three trips on the hotel toasting machine. Still subpar, but I didn't want to risk a scene by putting it in for a fourth. Damn, that toasting machine is garbage. Normally there's a dial on the side you can use to adjust the toastiness. Usual settings in order are waste of electricity, European, nuclear reactor, British, burnt. You forgot the one that sets off the fire alarm. Right. A new two-pound coin will be issued next year commemorating J.R.R. Tolkien. Really? Dude, hell yeah! That's sick as hell. Okay, I'm down for that. Oh, oh, Jesus, it's so pretty. At first thought, I looked at the head and thought to myself, that looks nothing like Tolkien. I am not a smart man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. Shout out to Tony having his birthday at Legoland Windsor. What? Tony, age 36. 
I think our Lego lands over here now only allow you in if you have a kid. It's kind of like going into Chuck E. Cheese. You as a 40-year-old man aren't allowed to just go in there and eat, you know? To be fair, why would you do that? But yeah, I'm pretty sure our Lego lands have a rule. You have to bring kids with you now or something like that. Maybe I misheard, but who knows? This photo I took of Gatwick. Oh boy. Ah, wait, you took? How'd you do that? That's a mighty impressive photo you took. You sure it wasn't a satellite image? You know what? Don't care. Upon passing my driving test, I was stopped by a complete stranger from... From... <laughs> you know what? The, that See, that's one of those names. It's one of those names, man. Where if I read it out loud as an American would, ah, you'll get me, but it's probably something like Lester or some sh**. Who offered to buy me a pint in celebration. Sometimes we few can be a friendly bunch. Thanks, Howard. What a lovely lad. Jesus, that's a hell of a tattoo. I wish I could truly make out what it was, though. It's a little difficult. A truly... N uh, sorry, not a truly. A true neighborly British complaint. Oh boy. Hello, neighbor. Sounds like you have a good TV system set up, which is great, but would it be possible to lower the volume during weekdays, late evenings, as the bass really does travel? Weekends? Go for it. <laughs> That's fair. Disturbing to see Pringles being sold in a packet instead of a tube. Uh, yeah, that was an, that was an interesting change, but... I don't really care, you know? I'm a bus driver. If I'm having a bad day at work, I'll look in the mirror while driving and mutter to myself, you're all s aren't you? And then tap the brakes twice so they all nod. <laughs> you gotta keep yourself entertained somehow, man. Ah, this coffee sucks. The man sitting in front of me on the train is using a Twix as a pillow? Well, ingenuity at its finest. Let's be real about this situation. Maybe it was worth the wait after all. Holy Christ, that is coming out spectacular, dude. Look, I know it's just a big clock, but it's a pretty clock. <laughs> Woo! I lost my job due to the force. I'm isolated from my girlfriend and my daughter. I have no friends or family around, and I spent my birthday completely alone. But look at this freaking yoke! Oh, babe, that's beautiful, dude. Oh, man. This company's been getting boycotted over their name. I'm sorry, but this is brilliant British humor, okay? Jack the Chipper? Come on, man. How long ago was the Jack the Ripper thing? Like, how long ago was it? Oh, come on, man. A serial killer from the 1800s? Can we chill? Can we ch Like, look, as South Park said, what is it, 22.3 years for something tragic to become funny? Look, we're not making Netflix uh, docudramas about this dude to make him seem sexy. It's just a funny wordplay. A funny bit of wordplay. Come on! Whenever I see a car with a ticket, I chuck it in the bin so the driver doesn't have to pay. What act of kindness do you do for strangers? People often forget their wet paint signs behind or leave them, so I regularly collect them and hand them into the lost and found. Aw, thanks, guys. When my neighbors put their bin out in the evening, I take them straight back in for them before morning so they don't get stolen in the night. That kind of feels like the premise to the movie The Stupids. When I go to the gym, I leave all the weights out ready for the next person. Ah, oh, if only I could kill all of you. British cuisine is bad. Oh yeah? Think again. Oh, bulls <gasps> The little happy face fries. You know, I've had those at cafes over here before. Baby Bell cheese, though? That's not unique to you guys. I mean, come on, we've got that. Beans? That's not... Hey, okay, wait a minute. How big are these pizzas? <laughs> it's not that British cuisine is bad. It's that... A lot of people, when they go over there, the stuff they try isn't the good shit necessarily. Other than the full English breakfast, a lot of people don't really seem to really go out of their way to try much. Hmm, fish and chips. Yeah, come on, you're gonna have to try more than that, Susan. 